Welcome to the GCC Innova video tutorial for using Sage Business Intelligence. During this demonstration we'll be creating a report that views the stock sales for a particular period in terms of sales, profitability on the sale and percentage profitability on the sale and effectively it will just show off some of the changes and report layout items you can use within Sage BI. So we're going to start off by coming into the BI module and customer sales and profitability and sales by product and if you're going to use BI I certainly recommend viewing the demo off the front welcome page and looking through the BI cubes and reports PDF file. The PDF file is quite a good file in terms of explaining what each particular report does and also what the particular cube is built up of. So this is based on the SOP invoices and credits cube and it explains what the contents of that cube are and what the measurements are and how you can look at the various items within the measurements. So here we'll be looking at realized base profit and it shows an example here there's a dimension attribute called fully realized so we're only wanting to check the items where the cost has been fully realized. We'll come back to that later as we're doing the report. So we shoot off on sales by product and that will open the Excel file of sales by product. So there we are at the moment in terms of the standard layout. Um, I'm going to change here and actually look at 2009 because my data is better in 2009. So we just quickly swap over to 2009 there. I also don't want prior year, current year and percentage growth. I just want current year. So in order to do that, what I need to do is come over to Sage BI and the menu bar. And a little word of warning here. If you don't have new report, open report and save, if you don't have this little section here and you're wanting to save this report, then what you need to do is come over to personalize and switch yourselves over to advanced functionality you will then have to close down Excel and reopen Excel but it will save as advanced functionality and that will give you the ability to open and save some reports. But For now what we're going to do is just come into report layout and here's where we can decide what our parameters are going to be, what our rows are going to be, what our columns are going to be and what's going to be displayed on those columns. So for time analysis at the moment we've got percentage growth prior year and current, we just need current, so I'm just going to select current, click apply, the cube will then be pulled through and refreshed to just looking at current data. I want goods value and goods profit value and goods percentage profit value and not the quantity, so now I'm just going to come over to value and select goods value and base and this is the order I want them in the order I'm selecting so I'm holding down the control key here realize profit value in base and realize profit percentage on revenue so they're my three columns that I need click on apply and back over to my report my report is now refreshed through you notice that I have some zeros on my realized profits and just remembering that sales or this will look at the sales order cube regardless of whether the stock item cost has yet been posted through perhaps you're waiting on purchase invoices or something along those lines so I only want to look at realized profit in base so I'm going to need to add a new criteria up here so in order to do that I'm coming over to SOP invoice analysis opening up there and choosing fully realized again clicking on apply that then brings me with a parameter of fully realized so that's all data at the moment so I'm going to double click there and select just yes so it's only the realized items so that then filters down I'm looking at the realized items I don't want to be looking at product group here I want actually the product item codes so I just need to come over to see what's on my report rows and there's product groups there I don't want that so I'm going to drag that back down into the slice list it's saying there's 
currently rules associated with product groups and I don't want to keep them so I'm going to select on no there and within products I'm now going to pull up item code and again click on apply this has now given me all products and I can drill in if I want to but in terms of how I want my report laid out I actually want it laid out so it's just the stock items and I don't want to drill in I just want to look at straight the stock items so now what I need to do is come back to my column layout I've got product item selected so all I need to do is right mouse click on all products select and select children of all products checking down there so it's just going to give me the children and not the top item again if I click on apply come back to my view and I now have the product items down the side there so my next thing is I actually want to see which customers I've been selling these to so I need another row in here so if, again if I come back to my layout come up to customer and select customer name and drag up into the row layout I'm immediately going to come up into here and to all customers and just select children of all customers again click on apply and I now have children of all customers. I've got some blanks here because these are all Avi retail and it's just that it won't repeat if it's the same name but I do actually want it to repeat in this instance because I, I might have a long list and I'll be looking off the screen here and I do want to see that's Avi retail so in order to get that information there just need to come over to getting the report layout so there's just a little tick on the bottom corner of that pane there 2007 um, eliminate duplicate row headers is on so I'm going to turn that off click on OK and come back to report that and now that's refreshed to have every retail and all there and what I'm really interested in obviously this is just demo data a short list or no a long list what I really need is the data sorted by my realized profit percentage so if I come back up to sort my data I can now start to sort my data on rows and I can and select and I'm going to do it by the profit percentage on revenue click select click on OK so I'm now selected by revenue so there's my low revenue item one what I now actually want is some more details on why that is so low so I've sold some beach cabinets to Abbey Retail why is that so low so in order to get to that I'm just going to select this item I'm not selecting that one because that's a calculated field I'm selecting this particular one, right mouse clicking, and now I have some drill into's. So I'm going to drill into detail, saying, OK, I'm going to create it on a new worksheet in this particular one, or existing worksheet on a, on a new sheet or anything along those lines. But I'm going to create a new worksheet. Uh, click on OK. We'll then create a new sheet and I've got my drill through results here there's only one item but it now has the details on what that particular invoice was so I can now go to investigate that particular invoice or order alternatively I could have done that a slightly different way in terms of drilling into data that's actually drilling right into the details I can spin it around and create another version of this based on what the criteria are there so if I come over and add from SOP invoice analysis perhaps the criteria for invoice number and invoice order click on apply again those criteria will now appear and I can come into the same view my 42.46% again right mouse click come into perhaps drill across or drill into I can now come in and select invoice number click on OK I then create another sheet and then have another report and effectively it's the same report filtered around a different direction click on the drill and now I've got my invoice number that makes up those particular ones and I can go back to the original invoice or order taker and find out why the value is so low. So the important thing to remember with the BI is it's more of an interrogation tool rather than a reporting tool. It's designed so you'll be drilling into the details and looking around 
the details whilst you're in Excel. So effectively we could come back and look at fully realized or perhaps instead of having the realized profit value in base we can come over to the values again and change this around to have the estimated profit value in base. So now we're starting to look at the items that haven't yet been sold but might be so you can catch it in the bird before the uh, order actually goes through and looking for the items that won't be making too much of a profit but that is a first look at Sage BI and there will be later sessions where we look at Sage BI more in depth.